Happy Friday, everyone. TGIF. Everything is nice and quiet on this Friday. It's just been a hot day. Again, our high temperature was just shy of 100 degrees. It felt hotter with the humidity and it's going to be a steamy evening. Some spots got a little bit of rain if you were south of the I-20 corridor, like around Jasper and Smith counties. And right now I'm tracking a little bit of light activity coming out of Wayne County. And some of you in Choctaw County may catch a quick sprinkle, but for the most part, it's kind of falling apart. Here's a view across the south as a whole. Not a whole lot happening across our neck of the woods. Down towards the coast, there are just some spotty showers that will die out once you lose the day's heating, but a lot of rain across parts of the mid-Atlantic states, including Hampton Roads, considering they're dealing with the stalled boundary and a lot of moisture coming off the Atlantic. But for us, high and dry, generally for your Saturday, but we could see some spotty showers with the heat of the day. Very hit and miss, though not everyone gets it. There will be a slightly better chance for some showers if you're going to be down towards the coast for your Saturday and Sunday. As far as those temperatures, though, we're expecting highs again to hit around 99, maybe 100 tomorrow. Actual temperature with the humidity it's going to feel like it's around that 105 range. Similar for your Sunday, Monday and Tuesday, but notice the temperatures go down a little bit, even though the heat indices stay the same, and that's because it gets a bit more humid as we go through time, so that humidity does play a part. As far as rain relief, as mentioned for your Saturday, very isolated. There could be a hit or miss shower that pops up if you're lucky enough to catch a downpour. It'll help a little bit, but again, you know that's just going to really steam up the atmosphere and make it possibly feel a bit more uncomfortable. Sunday morning off to a quiet start, but by the afternoon there could be a few more showers. So I think of the weekend, I think Sunday will be a better chance for a little rain relief. The bright colors do represent heavy rain potential, but aside from that, still on Sunday, not everyone gets wet. It's going to be a decent beach day, a beach weekend, I should say. If you're heading down towards the beaches, there is a low risk for rip currents uh, for the uh, Gulf Coast beaches from Gulfport over towards Pensacola. That's what the green flags represent. There could be additional showers, though. So if you're heading towards the beaches, make sure you're kind of watching the sky. If you hear thunder, you want to make your way inside until those storms pass. But those temperatures will be supportive of, again, some good water play and water temperature right now in the mid 80s. Not too bad. As mentioned, green flags represent a low risk for rip currents. If you ever see the yellow flags, that means a moderate risk for rip currents. Red flags is a high risk not recommended getting in the water. Double red flags, the waters are closed. You can get a ticket for getting in that water. And if you see the purple flag, that means there's dangerous marine life like jellyfish or sharks. Locally for us, mix of sunny clouds right now. Widespread 90s still. It's 96 in Meridian, 95 for Livingston, mid 90s for Butler. Quitman, you're also in the mid 90s, but it feels like it's about 100 when you factor in the humidity. So it's a steamy evening, and it's going to be a mild and muggy night with those lows in the low 70s. And that's close to the average, though. For tomorrow, kicking off the weekend, hot, very hot, muggy, and again, there could be an isolated shower that pops up. So there's that seven day forecast again of the weekend. Sunday, better chance to catch a good uh, refreshing shower, even though again, it's going to be brief and it may make things a little bit more humid. Rain chances go up a little bit though next week, but I'm happy that we do have daily rain chances. So if you don't get rain today, you may get rain tomorrow and we'll go with that trend as we head into next week.